What's up guys? It's Wally. Today we're going to be doing some battles with a full Gen 2 team. Now if you guys saw the Gen 1 video from about a week or two ago, then you already know what I'm doing. But just in case you guys haven't, I mean first of all I definitely recommend going back to watch it. It was a great video and a really awesome team. But also we're going to be doing a little mini series here where we're going to be building teams of Pokemon from just a specific generation. And so obviously in that Gen 1 video, all Pokemon from Generation 1 and here, all of them that were found and introduced in Johto. Now, unfortunately, this was kind of a really tough generation to do because, really realistically, there were less than 100 Pokemon that you could choose from that were introduced in Johto that you could really use for a team like this. So, again, kind of had to pick and choose which ones we wanted, and we kind of settled on this, mainly because, honestly, Ho-Oh, I think, is probably the best uh, restricted Pokemon from this generation. Uh, no offense to Lugia, but I really wanted to use Ho-Oh. Otherwise, we'd be kind of using a rain team with Politoed. But realistically, we wanted to go with Ho-Oh. We're not going with the rain team. But other than that, Porygon 2 is a Pokemon that is introduced in Generation 2. Thing is a really great Trick Room setter, which means that if we have a couple other slower Pokemon, like Pseudo Wudo, that could actually really work out if they end up going with a Tailwind. Or realistically, if we just know that we're going to be slower than them. So, but other than that, though, Porygon 2 does also have Ice Beam and Foul Play as well and Recover, just in case we need to stay in there a little bit longer. And with Ho-Oh, we do have Brave Bird, Sacred Fire, and of course, Earthquake, which is great because, again, it's kind of a coverage move, uh, as well as having Hip on top with Wide Guard. We're going to be able to uh, protect Hip on top while also block all of their spread moves, while also being able to hit both of them with Earthquake. And I think that's really, really great to have. But of course, that uh, Sacred Fire is going to be really great because that 50% burn chance, it is a stab move. And if we get the Sunny Day up with Jump Luff, again, that's going to do major damage. Also, the Brave Bird is going to be a stab move as well and does a lot of damage. Now, like I said, with him on top, we have Fake Out, which is great, and that Wide Guard, which is really great support. We do have Coaching to go up into Ho-Oh and other uh, physical attackers as well to up the attack and defense, uh, as well as Close Combat as a great move to use against something like Terrapagos. Now, that Pseudo Wudo is going to be great in Trick Room, or if we go against a Trick Room team, we can always trick them into putting that up themselves and bring out Pseudo Wudo to just outspeed everything in Trick Room and do a lot of damage with Head Smash, Double Edge, Wood Hammer, or Earthquake. We got that choice ban, so it's going to do a lot of damage. We do have Jump Bluff out there if we want to go with the Tailwind route. We also can put up Sunny Day with that. Strength Sap is a really great move to have as well to be able to limit uh, physical attackers and be able to heal up. And of course, Pollen Puff is great to be able to do a little damage uh, into things that are going to be weak to bug, as well as heal up your own teammates. And lastly, we have Scizor. It's great because with Technician, you'll be able to get a lot of extra damage on the Bullet Punch. Faint is actually going to do a little more damage as well. That's going to end up blocking Protects and Wide Guards as well. And then Thief, which is going to be a coverage move as well. It's great as a dark move. And with that 60 power that Thief has, that's going to get powered up with Technician. And that's going to be great into things like Shadow Rider, Varigraph, and things like that as well. So again, Generation 2 was a pretty tough generation to use uh, for a generation-specific team. But I think we made it work, and I'm really excited to see if we can do that up on ladder. So we'll get into some battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Well, let's get into the battles. All right, so this isn't necessarily great from a weather standpoint because we are going to need the sun for Ho-Oh. But question is, do we even bring them? Um, I honestly think it would be important, but... I think I'm going to choose not to. We're going to go uh, good old Capoeira here, along with Porygon 2, and then we're going to bring Scizor, and we're going to bring Pseudo Wudo. Um, again, the Jump Love Ho-Oh thing would actually be pretty good too, but... Let's go Trick Room. Why not? I don't think that anyone on their team is going to really beat us in Trick Room, so I think we're going to be okay from that perspective. question is, who do they lead? Okay, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. We'll get double Intimidate here. That's actually going to be really big to be able to keep Porygon in. So let's end up going for the Fake Out over into there, because I feel like that's going to be a little, a little tougher. And let's go for the Trick Room. Beautiful. It's okay, just no flinch. That's them, but that's us. Okay, well, that's 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 not great. That's not great at all. Um, I hate to say it, but let's go for the close combat over there. And let's go for the trick room again. Dang. Not the best way to start. 
Not the best way to start, but we're gonna be fine. Water. Yep. That's fine. And we know what they're gonna do. Uh, question is, can we survive? I'm not hopeful. Man. Yeah, we're, we're, we're done. We're done. No way with the water terror would we survive. That's so good for us if we don't flinch. That is so good for us if we don't flinch. Come on. That's good. Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sucks to lose a uh, good old cap, but still. Now we bring out Pseudo Wudo. Good old Pseudo Wudo. And here's what we're going to end up doing. We know we're going to outspeed. I don't think it's smart to go for the Grass Terra. I'm going to I'm going to risk the head smash. I'm going to risk it. Why not? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for the foul play over there. They may protect. Wow, they actually detected. Wow. Wow. I'm honestly surprised at that. I'm not going to lie. Did not think that they would protect over there. But since they do have foul play, I get... Or not foul play. Pardon me. The, um... Uh, the sash. Or not the... Not the fucking sash. I'm sorry. The life orb. Because they have the life orb, it makes sense. Either way, let's go for the uh, let's go for the head smash over there again, and um, let's foul play over there too. They're doing everything they can to get rid of Porygon too. Honestly, I should have went for a recover. That would have been smarter, but I'm still okay with that. We end up taking them out. I'm hoping that they can sweep the rest of the way, honestly. Not bad. Dude, they, they just hate Porygon. <laughs> and honestly, hell, I can't blame them. Can't blame them. Again, that's why I should have went with the... Um, that's why I should have went with uh, the Recover on that one. But now we'll have Scizor out there. We should be able to KO with just a, a bullet punch over there, too. They've already terrestrialized, so... Yeah, no, we're gonna be fine. Head smash KOs over there. And yeah, let's just do that and let's bullet punch. Should be able to pick that up. I hope. We just need to hit as well. That's gonna be the other thing. That's fine. We could have went with faint too, but it's okay. We'll miss the bullet punch, but we will get the head smash. We should be able to KO. Should. Nice. Um. Honestly, because I think we have one more trick room, right? Yeah, I think we're going to end up going for the uh, bullet punch over there again because we're going to outspeed the sucker punch. Cool. Now, honestly, I think it'll be smarter to terrestrialize uh, Scizor. Actually, no, we're going to be fine with Scizor now that I'm thinking about it. We can terrestrialize Pseudo Wudo to maybe take away our steel weakness. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but we're going to do it anyways. And let's go for the bullet punch over there. Again, the main reason for this is because Scizor is already going to resist the Steel and the Fairy. So going into Fire isn't going to make sense. And again, we're already weak to the um, Steel and everything there. So at least that'll give us a shot. I go for the Protect. It makes a lot of sense. I get it. 
We'll get the bullet punch. We'll pick up the KO. Uh, and now, unfortunately, I think we might have to struggle because I didn't PP max the, uh, the head smash. People tell me all the time that I should PP max my moves, and I, uh, just decide not to. Just decide not to. So, uh... Oh, we got one more! Okay, that's gonna be big, to be honest with you. Let's do that, and then we'll get the bullet punch over there, too, because that is going to be uh, a neutral hit. And it's gonna be our strongest one, too. Can we do a quarter? We do. That's awesome. Emoth Blade, that's okay. Can we can we hang in there? We do! Pseudo Wudo! We'll get the head smash, too. My goodness, that's huge. And I think that's going to pick it up. Yeah, we're going to have to struggle, but w what can you do, right? Pick up the bullet punch. And we pick up the win. I'm surprised. I am surprised. When we flinched on that first one, didn't get the get the trick room up initially. Thought we were done -zo, But thankfully, they allowed us to put the trick room up still. And we end up picking up the win with Pseudo Wudo. And, and of course, Scizor too, but... With Pseudo Wudo. Good game. Well, looks like a team that might want to set up Trick Room 2. Of course. Can't blame them, either. So here's what we're going to end up doing. We're going to, of course, start with uh, Ho-Oh. Because we don't want them to know that, we have, that we're going to end up bringing Pseudo Wudo in the back. So, we're going to start with them. And I think we might be faster with this fake out over onto uh, Smeargle. So I think that might be the play. We'll bring Pseudo in the back, and we'll also bring... Let's bring Scizor. Let's bring Scizor. At least we have priority. That's always positive. We have clear amulet, so we're not going to be affected by the Intimidate. Which now that I'm thinking about it is probably why we shouldn't have started with Ho-Oh. But we're still going to be fine. Maybe it should have been a uh, um, Hitmon top and uh, Scizor lead then. Either way, we still get the Intimidate on them too, so pretty happy about that. Question is, is that going to be Clear Amulet? More than likely, but let's hope not. Hey, good for you. That's fine. Yep. The good thing is, we pretty much keep them in check with Ho-Oh, so I'm not incredibly worried. Go with the Sacred Fire, and, um... Actually, we're gonna get the Sacred Fire, and let's get the Fake Out over there. Totally understandable, we could've get, just gotten a free coaching, honestly, that would've been smarter. Yeah, we could've just went for the coaching. Well, that is unfortunate, but now we know. Now we know. So that's what we're going to do on this one. We're not even going to bother with the wide guard yet. Um, let's try to go Sacred Fire over there, and let's go for the coaching. Yeah, again, it would have been smarter to go with the coaching on the first one. And that's a big, big misstep by me, unfortunately. Well, let's get the plus one, plus one. It's going to be a big help, and then we can start wide guarding on the next one. Assuming they go for a uh, trick room. <whistles> Goodbye. Wow. Good damage. Good damage. Totally okay. Not upset about that. I'm assuming that the next one's going to be Ursaluna. Again, I don't know if they can actually hit us with anything besides the Glacial Lance. Cool. Fine with that. Let's go... Ooh, no, don't protect. Go Sacred Fire over there. And let's go for that Wide Guard. Beautiful. They've still yet to Terrestrialize, too. Come on, we can tank. We can tank, baby. We tank all day. All day. Stop that Glacial. We do not want to take one of those. Either way, we may protect and go for a close combat if we don't KO them. Yeah. I think we're gonna... Yeah. 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 Take that little bit of healing. That's perfect. Let's protect. 
Let's, uh, let's close combat over there. I could have went for another coaching, but nah. Let's take them out. No. Please don't be like a ghost. Okay, cool. I'm okay with that. Oh, and they were fire all along. That's good to know. Which means that that head smash is going to do a lot of damage. So please take out one of our mons so we can end up bringing in our good friend, the, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. Fine, we saw that coming. That did a lot more than I was expecting, though. I'm not going to lie. But then again, they are... Okay. Okay. Well, let's go pseudo Wudo. Let's let's take out that absolute monstrosity that is the Ice Rider Calyrex, and let's let's just finish him off. Why not? Let's go with the Brave Bird down there, and uh, let's go with that Head Smash, and let's let's have him up. How does that sound? Goodbye, buddy. Yep. You don't mess with the pseudo Wudo. You don't mess with pseudo Wudo. I'm sorry. Come on now, right? Beautiful tank. We may... No, we're going to survive. We're going to survive because of the low health that they have. So that little bit of recoil we take is not going to be enough to KO. Uh, we can protect on the next one if we feel like we need to. And uh, hopefully Pseudo Wudo can just pick this up itself. Let's hope. Pseudo Wudo has the power and the ability to do so. Question is, who is this? Hi, Smeargle. Let's protect. Let's head smash. And let's take that dub, baby. Again, man, that's that's why we wanted Pseudo Wudo to kind of hide in the back. And why we wanted to bring a couple of mons that weren't necessarily slow. To make them think that we weren't going for, like, a Trick Room option on that one. That way we're going to be able to bring Pseudo Wudo in. They had already terrestrialized. They couldn't get away from the head smash. And we end up picking up the victory on it. Good game. All right. Well, this is going to be an interesting uh, interesting end here. Um, I don't know if that's going to be in a good way or a bad way. Either way, we're going to start Ho-Oh. We're going to go with good old Capoeira here. Um, I think that Scizor is going to be pretty important. And then I think Porygon is going to be good too. Um, the reason for Scizor is really for that thief in my mind. So I'm going to really hope that that ends up being the right call here. Because I think we can KO uh, uh, Shadow Rider in one with that. Now we are going to have to worry about a fake out here, but the question is whose fake out is going to be faster? I don't know if we want to find out. So we may end up having to protect on the first one. And maybe we can go for a wide guard too. We'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. Let's see, Zach, what you got, man? What you got? I'm guessing it's going to be a Shadow and Mean Chow. Gee, you Mean Chow. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. I got you. I got you. All right. In that case, I don't think we're going to protect on this first one. I don't think so. I think we're just going to go straight away with the coaching. I'm not too worried about that. Get the Intimidate. Ain't going to mean much to either of them because they're not a physical and they obviously, as you saw, just had, um, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go Brave Bird. I actually kind of want to just go close combat too. Coaching would be nice, but let's take out Chiyu. Should have just went coaching. That's going to be Shadow. Oh, even better. Nice. Okay, good. They were expecting a fake out from us. They did not get it. We go down to, uh, that's about a 117 drop, which means that, unfortunately, that's not going to bring us up to where we're going to be able to survive one more. Positive thing here, though, is the fact that we should... Yikes. Not enough. Should be able to KO, if not get them all the way down to Sash on this one. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but we're still going to be okay. 
Um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for an EQ on this one, and we're going to go for the Wide Guard. It's possible they just take uh, them out, but if they go for a Hyper Voice or something, at least we'll end up stopping that, and we'll be able to pick up at least one on the uh, on the Earthquake. Oh, that's why. I was going to say, wow, that's a lot of damage into a Flying Mon with a Fighting Move. But wow. Can't do much about that. Decent damage. Not enough, but decent damage. Hyper Voice or Psychic? Wow. I will say, though, I'm, I'm actually really happy to see the move uh, Psychic Noise come into play. Because truly, that, that's actually been really, really cool. It's been a great move. Um, and I wish people would use it more. Not gonna lie. So... Bring out Scizor on this one. Oh, and they're gonna bring out Superior. That's rough. That's rough. Um, I wonder if we can pick them up with. I mean, we should be able to pick them up with the Sacred Fire. Don't get me wrong, but hmm. let's do that. I wonder if we can actually. I mean, honestly, Thief is really our our only option here. So let's go Thief over to Furiorev and see if we can pick that up. Hmm. That's going to probably be a Fire Terra here. It's okay. What are the chances, man? What are the chances? What are the chances? The Rock Terra Blast? Okay, um, I mean, the good thing about that, a bullet punch is going to be able to pick that up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget about Chi Yu as well. Um, wow. Okay, uh, we're going to end up going, um, I think we're going to end up going Trick Room here. And then let's tear it into fire, and let's go for the uh, the bullet punch over there. Man. Okay. Okay. Fair. We'll get a trick room though, and that's that's honestly gonna be really, really big. Not much. No burns, thankfully. And thankfully that's not doing a ton of damage either. That's big for us. So we're gonna go foul play over there. Actually no, we're gonna go foul play over there as well as a bullet punch. If bullet punch doesn't pick it up, we pick we, we pick it up with the foul play. But we do. And the foul play goes over there anyways. Nice! We get the we get the uh, the crit back. So I appreciate that. Thank you, R and Jesus. Praise be to thee. Okay, so let's get the foul play over there. Yeah. We might actually have to go with the ice beam. Yeah. Nice, Pori! My buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, so now... I'm not even going to bother with the Recover. Let's do that, and... Honestly, our strongest move would probably be the Bullet Punch. Here's the thing, though. Thief is not very effective, uh, so it's, you know, 60 with, you know, the um, Technician and all that, so that would go down to 45. Bullet Punch with Technician goes up to 60. With Stab 120 divided by 2. You know what, let's go with the Bullet Punch. I don't know if I did that calculation correctly. Either way, though, it'll do get it down to about not half, but pretty close. We'll get the Ice Beam. 
He'll hit the Heat Wave. Scizor only has one turn left. Uh, on this one, I think we have to go for the Recover to get all the way back up there so we can survive another turn. And, um... Maybe it'll actually be Faint. That will go up to 45 as well. Hmm. It actually wouldn't be... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go Bullet Punch. I'm fine with that. I'm overthinking, you know what I mean? We'll get the Recover. We can only hope that they miss a Heat Wave over on Scizor on this one. But they don't. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a Chi Yu versus Porygon 2 situation. Whoever would have thought we would be here. Honestly, the Recover first might be the right play. But we're going to fish for the freezes. Fish for the freezes. No. It's alright. They could, they could miss a heat wave at some point. As long as we don't get burnt, which we didn't, we're going to survive one more. I think we have to go recover, recover. That's huge. Wish we would have attacked then. Either way, we'll get back up with the recover. That's good. We'll be able to take two shots. Be able to take two shots. That's huge. Let's go. Let's go. Ice Beam. And the good thing is because of our ability as well. Thank you. We end up getting a 30% boost here. So it's not going to do much, but I think it's going to be enough. We might be able to pick it up with this Ice Beam too. Ooh. No shot. No shot. Come on now. Boom. I can't believe that. that that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I never ever want to do a Porygon 2 Chi Yu endgame ever again. But thankfully, that was enough to be able to pick it up. Um, my goodness, I legitimately have no words for that. I'm just happy we won. Good game. So I know Gen 2 is kind of slim pickings when it comes to actually picking a full team of Gen 2 Mons. I mean, there were less than 100 th that we could actually use. So again, not a lot to choose from. But honestly, all of these guys together actually work really well. Again, when I was thinking of a Gen 2 team, part of me was actually thinking about like a rain team, but to be honest, I wanted to use Ho-Oh instead of Lugia. So obviously this is what we end up going with and thankfully enough, we still end up picking up wins with it. And honestly, if you ask me, I think that the real MVP on this team, definitely Pseudo-Wudo. That thing can take so many things out with that choice band and definitely kind of evidence that today, especially against that Ice Rider Calyrex. But again, despite the fact that, again, there aren't a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon to really choose from to kind of put together, we still end up putting together, I think, a pretty damn good team. If you guys want to use it, code's over there. Have a lot of fun with it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go down and drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.